Hello, welcome. Today we are going to see how we can export vector graphics from Office applications into vector graphic programs. Vector graphic programs here will include Inkscape, Adobe Illustrator or Corel Draw. If you do not yet know what a vector format is, please watch our first video. Office applications here will include Microsoft Office, LibreOffice and OpenOffice. We will use Microsoft Office Excel. The procedure applied here can, however, be applied to other Office applications like Word, PowerPoint, or their equivalent in the other alternative software. Most people will have plotted graphs using some Microsoft Office, OpenOffice, or LibreOffice application. To save graphs from this as PDF, which is a vector format, the trick is to install a PDF printer on your computer and print the chart using the PDF printer. Your computer may already have a PDF or an EPS printer, both of which are vector formats. If not, you could download free ones and install. Searching out there on the web will give you many free PDF printers. Just beware not to get one with a virus. So I've drawn this chart here using Excel for us to use in the conversion. Once we've installed a PDF printer, we could use this Excel chart and save it as a PDF. So we use this example now. So we select the chart we want to print. We'll go to File and uh, we select the Print option. And when we select the Print option, we will see that there is a printer that is highlighted. And here we want to toggle down and see what other printers are available. And as you can see, we have here installed a Foxit reader. We also have the possibility to uh, send as a meta file to, a, to an EPS converter. And we can also print directly from Microsoft to PDF. So you can choose any one you wish to choose. So let's say we choose the Foxit reader. And that is now the printer. We go to print. And it's going to print it and will ask us where to save it and right now I'll choose desktop just so that we are all on the same page and easily see where it's gone so to. the printing is finished and we can pull off the printed stuff on our desktop and here is it we can open it up and here is the excel chart we printed this now is printed as a pdf and should up, uh, appear as a vector format so we can now go open Inkscape and uh, and pull the PDF on it. So we'll see PDF import settings showing and the page is shown there. We leave every other thing at default and we go to OK and we'll notice that our chart has been pulled into our Inkscape program. We can hold the control key down of our computer and try to scale down the graphic this way and we can make it a little bit larger for us to see what we're doing and the important thing for you to notice now that uh, we've done this is that this is now a vector format and how can you know that if you go here to object after selecting your chart you go to object and you go to ungroup you notice that you can ungroup the individual aspects of the graph so um, I'm just showing you this that you can now move the individual parts because they are vectors and um, you can for instance take out the text and maybe write a more beautiful text if you wanted to and here I'm writing the uh, original thing that was there uh, taking it down to maybe 16 or maybe uh, 13 and um, putting it there and each of these areas can also be further ungrouped you can ungroup that and uh, access all of them individually so when you do this you now have the possibility to adapt the graphic in the way you want to adapt it for your illustration for instance I may delete this text there and uh, 
I may want to make the lines uh, more beautiful or bigger and of course the labeling and every other thing. So the nice thing to know about this is that it's possible but the hitch that can come at times is that when printing from these applications the final chart may be shown in more than one page. Do not panic. Since it is a vector file you can open it up in Inkscape and extract the chart or graph and scale it down. All of what has been shown here using Microsoft Office Word and Inkscape can also be done using Microsoft Office Word, LibreOffice, OpenOffice, going on to the other vector graphic programs like Inkscape, CorelDRAW and Adobe Illustrator. Thank you for watching. In the next video, we are going to show how we can do the same thing living from a dedicated graphic plotting program into a vector format. So thank you again for watching and if you have comments please do not forget to put them below and also hit or like our video and criticize it so that we could bring up better videos for you in the future. Thank you and see you in the next video.